When things are going too decent and it seems uneventful to you, what will you do? Maybe you just launch a fight to spice things up. And some similar fights existed in the industry as Jeff Bezos and Joe Biden took a clash with Elon Musk. This dispute has been going on for years now, but Musk doesn't want this to keep going on as maybe he thinks it has added more spice than required. But now Musk has warned Joe Biden and Jeff Bezos for the last time. Do you want to know more about it? Well, stay tuned in the video. Welcome to Elon Musk Planet. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on SpaceX, Tesla, Starship, or anything related to the multi-talented, influential tech icon and billionaire, Elon Musk. So, without directly tasting the spice, let's start by distinguishing things. First, let's talk about the tech mogul Elon Musk and the dominant gramps Joe Biden. It started up when Joe Biden's administration invited auto executives to the White House last year to discuss the shared goal of expanding the production of electric vehicles. They enticed big auto companies like Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis. But to their shock, Tesla, which is the largest EV producer in the world, was not invited. SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk decried President Joe Biden deeming his administration biased against Tesla and saying it seems to be controlled by unions during a speech on stage at the Code Conference in Beverly Hills, California. Also, when asked by Code host and Recode editor at large, Kara Swisher, asked Musk to clarify his recent tweets in which he censured President Joe Biden. Musk sighed. You know, Biden held this EV summit, didn't invite Tesla, invited GM, Ford, Chrysler and UAW an EV summit on the White House, didn't mention Tesla once, and praised GM and Ford for leading the EV revolution. Does this sound maybe a little biased or something? And you know, just it's not the friendliest administration. Seems to be controlled by unions, as far as I can tell. Tesla's fight with the Biden administration escalated after CEO called President Joe Biden a puppet for the United Auto Workers in a tweet. However, when SpaceX attained a historic private space flight, CEO Elon Musk took a pull shot at President Joe Biden, who had yet to comment on the company's and the civilian flight crew's victories. One of Musk's 60 million followers on the social networking platform Twitter asked him, The President of the United States has refused to even acknowledge the four newest American astronauts who helped raise hundreds of millions of dollars for St. Jude. In the response, Musk tweeted, He's still sleeping reflecting a Trump nickname for Biden, Sleepy Joe. SpaceX mostly enjoys a good relationship with the federal government, but SpaceX is also under inquiry by the Department of Justice after charges that it discriminated against job applicants based on citizenship status. But then came the federal budget deficit. Elon Musk implied it might be better if the Build Back Better bill backed by President Joe Biden does not pass the Congress. Musk asserted that the Build Back Better bill, which entails federal funding for electric vehicle charging stations, should be fired because it would add to the country's debt. Speaking at the Wall Street Journal's CEO Summit, Musk spoke from his Tesla factory in Austin, Texas, that we've spent so much money. The federal budget deficiency is insane. It might be better if the bill doesn't pass. Although Tesla would profit from some overheads in the bill, Musk said that he's in favor of declining all federal subsidies but also worried that subsidies should also be dropped for the oil and gas industry. Musk also said that the government should be a referee but not a player on the field, and should get out of the way and not impede progress. Moving ahead with the rivalry between two backbenchers, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. Elon Musk magnified the feud over lawsuits and rocket sizes with space rival Jeff Bezos this week, hitting off the latest round in the billionaire battle over humanity's return to the moon. Hold on, this is going too fast. Let's start from the beginning. Jeff Bezos is the producer of Amazon. Amazon is a powerhouse when it comes to e-shopping. The company has also launched Prime to start its streaming service or create its cloud infrastructure service, Amazon Web Services. But Bezos had always been enthusiastic in space. He told the Miami Herald in 1982, after he graduated high school as valedictorian, that he wanted to create outer space colonies for millions of people. As a result of that long-held interest in leaving Earth, Bezos inaugurated Blue Origin in 2000, a new startup focused on human spaceflight. But around the period Bezos was initiating Blue Origin, Musk had already sold Zip2, a startup he launched with his brother, Kimball, for roughly $300 million. Musk was in the cycle of building PayPal, which would later be bought by eBay for $1.5 billion. 
Musk made about $160 million off the PayPal sale and used that money to launch SpaceX in 2002. By 2004, both Blue Origin and SpaceX were still in their babyhood. Neither company had completed any launches yet. But the start of their rivalry began in the year 2013 when SpaceX tried to use the NASA launch pad. SpaceX tried to get restricted use of a NASA launch pad. In comeback, Blue Origin, along with SpaceX's rival, United Launch Alliance, filed a formal protest with the government to deter SpaceX from utilizing the pad. Bezos proposed converting it into a commercial spaceport available to all launch companies. Musk called the move a phony blocking tactic and took another jab at Blue Origin. Blue Origin has not yet succeeded in creating a reliable suborbital spacecraft despite spending over 10 years in development, Musk told Space News at the time. If they do somehow show up in the next five years with a vehicle qualified to NASA's human rating standards that can dock with the space station, which is what Pad 39A is meant to do, we will gladly accommodate their needs. Frankly, I think we are more likely to discover unicorns dancing in the flame duct, he added. But SpaceX ultimately won the right to take over the pad. Both execs have invaded on opportunities to take shots at each other, most often aiming at each other over reusable rockets. In 2015, after Blue Origin successfully landed its new Shepard rocket, Bezos tweeted a video call calling it the rarest of beasts, a used rocket. Musk reacted saying SpaceX had executed the feat three years prior. Over the last 15 years, these two of the world's most high-profile CEOs have been immersed in the simmering rivalry. The serious and angry argument contained between the two when Musk called Bezos a copycat over Amazon's satellite plans and derided the company's business practices. In return, both Amazon and Blue Origin have filed formal protests and lawsuits about issues that concern SpaceX. But this didn't have to end here. Bezos' Blue Origin is prosecuting SpaceX by way of NASA. In the US Federal Court of Claims, over a $2.9 billion astronaut lunar lander contract the agency awarded Musk's company earlier last year. Blue Origin went on a public relations offensive in August after the government's accountability office shot down the company's protest. With Bezos' endeavor calling SpaceX's Starship rocket an immensely complex and high-risk way to deliver NASA astronauts to the moon, Elon Musk recited prior criticisms of fellow billionaire space mogul Jeff Bezos as their respective companies continue to debate in federal court and in front of regulators. I think I've expressed my thoughts on that front. I think he should put more of his energy into getting to orbit rather than lawsuits, Musk said Tuesday at the CodeCon 2021 conference in Beverly Hills, California. You cannot sue your way to the moon, no matter how good your lawyers are, Musk added. Amazon responded to Musk in a statement to CNBC on Wednesday. SpaceX has a long track record of suing the US government on procurement matters and protesting various governmental decisions. It is difficult to reconcile that historical record with their recent position on others filing similar actions, an Amazon envoy wrote. Musk fired back on Twitter less than an hour after CNBC circulated Amazon's statement, contending that there is a difference of intent between his company's lawsuits and those from Bezos. SpaceX has sued to be allowed to compete. Blue Origin is suing to stop competition, Musk tweeted. But even after all this havoc, Musk has never been less productive and is eliciting great results and keeps on moving forward. But apart from our expectations and thoughts, what do you think about the feuds between these guys? Let us know in the comments below. And most importantly, if you want to be updated on every single topic related to Elon Musk, then you should consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon. See you in the next one. Until then, peace.